What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you back in time to February 10th, 2019. On that date, I uploaded my very first networking video. So today, you get to watch my very first home networking video. And to be honest, I haven't seen this video in years. So this video should be pretty funny. And make sure to roast me in the comments. I can take it. So let's start the video. Hi, I'm Michael. And on today's episode, we're gonna turn a networking disaster into this. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, this Man. whole network box is a complete disaster. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Let's go. These cables should be way up at least seven, eight Gotta inches. Gotta love the faux hawk. Rocking the faux hawk. 12 by 12, if not more. 12 by 12 I think I recorded that with an S, modem. I can't a Samsung S, here. S5, I believe. And I have got it also I don't remember. Switch. I've got a cloud. And I also got recorded a this with a no Canon go in here with power this shot monstrosity. camera. Like, like a 2017, it's, it's an old camera. Really you can see the footage is not very, it's not very sharp or crisp. Not 4K, that's for sure. That. Ah. Woo. Believe it or not, this panel is in a okay, two-story home to with five bedrooms, out four bracket. bathrooms, so a game room, a, time, a living room, dining room, port switch. family room. There are seven Cat 5Es and I'll be doing this um, I'm plugging them back in right away just so we have connectivity throughout the house while I'm doing this project. I don't want any angry kids yelling at Almost me. Almost 4,000 square feet. So as you can and see, that panel is tiny. Cat 5E do have labels on them. They're kind of hard to read from this viewpoint, but there's like bedroom one, kitchen, multimedia. Um, I would probably relabel these wires if I was going to stay in this house, but we are moving. So my only concern is, is making sure this looks good and has connectivity. And we're done. I tried to make it look professional, but uh, okay, we're gonna it's my first video. This so amplifier. is what it is, but it's hilarious. I had an issue with what a mess. strength in my house and the cable company put this amplifier on and the issue ended up being outside by the curb. And believe it or not, that mess was there for about so 10 years here, I'm going to remove that. before I decide right to now, uh, clean it all up. In, uh, just to, uh, for purposes of showing how to do this. So and extremely lazy. It does have a power supply. Very lazy. It, so that's one wow. thing I have to plug in. Oh, there you go. You can see the bracket came off nicely and now it's way easier to use. We can definitely maneuver things around now. That's what we wanted to do here. So the bracket was kind of a hindrance. Rocking the U2 shirt. Concert shirt there. Yeah. <laughs> so I pulled the bracket out and we have a lot more room to move with. Uh, the wires actually fell down even more. They were kind of higher right here. I'm pretty sure I could have made this video so quite a bit a shorter slack with some better oh, uh, editing uh, more cuts original plan was to cut these and just redo them re-terminate them and put it back in my thought is no I'm not gonna do that I'm going to change my plan and push everything back up but once again this is my first video so up. it's pretty awful yeah it looks like hilarious it up there pretty good um, we'll see though how far I can get it up there so what I'm about to do is unhook some of these wires to make it a little bit more manageable Okay, before we start with the coaxial, let's go ahead and organize these wires. The cat five yeah, I think this house had about, what, five or six coax lines, and probably six or seven of the cat 5 e Now, this house was built in 2007, so cat 5 e was still the standard back then. Now, homes have CAT6, or like our home now has CAT6A. A. Put it on. You're gonna have but, to, uh, to get it off, and then you're risking cutting your pretty wires funny. too. So I try to avoid that. Okay. And the company that set up this whole panel with the wiring did a pretty bad job. The, the labeling was terrible. It was still like bedroom one, one, but I'm not sure what bedroom one was. We didn't know where bedroom one was downstairs or upstairs. Which room was bedroom one? It didn't have any kind of like schematic. So it was kind of funny how they they set this up. It wasn't very. Uh, wasn't very professional, we do that, though, especially when leaving it like that. Here. If you're gonna leave it looking off, terrible like that, that was just kind of, so, uh, I gotta say, half ass. Junk. So, um, so yeah. Let me get my trusty can of air compressor spray here, and we're gonna spray this 
and get this all nice and pretty. And I would have thought they would have put a massive panel in God, this home go for lots of equipment, Four, and it, they just didn't. Ugh. It's pretty dirty. And so this panel is in a back down. room yeah, upstairs. All right, it looks better. It's not central at all. Wow. So if you're going to put a router really in there, which already. I did, we should probably go ahead that Wi-Fi signal didn't well. get very far. It didn't get downstairs, that's for sure. Too wet. Like a damp rag so pretty poor of the construction of the home, along with the uh, Make it look really um, nice the panel. It was just really bad. Vacuum as well, but we'll uh, let's wipe this down. And I have to say, I love our new home. Everything's done way better um, with the larger panel. Look shiny and pretty. Yeah, this was just oh, this is funny. Perfection looks great. My attempt at cleaning it out really well. Eh, you know, not too bad. A lot of good. dust over 10, 11 back. years. Okay. Well, Not sure why I had to show the vacuum for. Why am I showing the vacuuming? I I don't know. <laughs> but I'm showing the vacuuming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, enjoy my vacuuming. It's pretty good. Splendid. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. This project, the rest of it will come together. And I'm sorry for the background music. I know it's kind of annoying. Once again, I was trying to figure this whole thing out with how to edit and make it look look and sound really good. So sorry about the music. On the coaxial cable here. We're gonna do like I said, move one to the middle and both push both of them up. So we'll have room for the modem, and we'll have room for the cloud, and we'll have room for the eight port switch. The router it's gonna go probably on the wall. Um, it's like no, all those devices are not going to get inside that panel. The There's no way. Uh, right there. So let's get started. That panel is so tiny. So we're going to unhook one coaxial at a time. Look how many we'll coax. That might be more than six. Through the right hole to the one, middle two, hole. Three. Pull it back out. That's seven maybe coax right or eight? The six -way God. Adapter. Um, it's ridiculous the amount of coax cable. And this will have us have one adapter come out. And each one thing about coax is very stiff. Having, it's hard to work with. Uh, oh, that's a cool angle. Coming out, which is kind of clustered <laughs> so and, I got uh, the, it looks like probably no my Samsung S5 is laying down, that way to filming up. Really easy and okay. takes up too much space. It's kind of a unique so, angle. I gave myself an A plus on that one. Take a little time. The coax will But yeah, it didn't really stiff, show so a whole lot. It just shows the holes going up into the wall. They are durable, so you don't have to worry about the coax and the ethernet wires. They're pretty durable. Yeah. So just take your time pulling it through. Um, if you had the same situation, amazing. Uh, you may not, but I certainly did. You know, this builder got a nice shot on my arm there. So the, uh, job of, uh, I should have had the camera so. pulling back a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing, except for my stupid arm. That's all I can really see. And, and one more thing too with the audio. I didn't have a microphone or a lav mic or uh, anything. So I used the microphone basically on the um, the phone or the camera itself, which is pretty bad, pretty bad quality. So you can hear it for sure. It's poor quality. Definitely became easier as I got more wires through, then it started coming through much easier. For some reason, the coaxials kind of followed the path of the other coaxials a little bit going through. So it was much smoother after I got the first couple wires through. I hand tighten these and I'll go back and I'll use a wrench and tighten them. Yeah, so at this point right here, I should have fast forwarded this. I mean, you don't need to see all this, but it was, you know, I had no idea what I was doing. A newbie. And I'm still a newbie. <laughs> I'm a little better, but not much. Yeah, at this point, I should have fast forwarded all that stuff. But here we go. There's some fast forwarding. See, that should have been done that, a, you know, I should have done that a long time ago. To be honest there, so. Fast forward all that stuff, and then there we go. Plugging stuff back this in. This is the amp SIG amplifier that I was talking about earlier that we're not going to have, but I'm still hooking it all back up just for the sake of having everything hooked back up. So I will run One the One thing about Cox cable that was really in. frustrating was, but, uh, was later on you had to have gone. a booster. You can see yeah, that right, the, the booster right space, there plugged in. The boost cords. the signal. I don't know why. Maybe because the house is very large and the runs are really long on the, the Cox cable runs are really long in the in the walls. But we weren't getting able to get signal sometimes, so they had to send a booster around. So they had to have someone come out and install a booster that would uh, boost the signal, basically. So our cable boxes would get a signal. So that was kind of frustrating. Also, the fact we paid 240 bucks a month was frustrating. 
and I think our megabytes up were down low was 150 and up was about 30 and we paid a lot of money for that for really slow speeds that's terrible I paid the same here at this house for a while till we switched over to CenturyLink fiber we pay $75 a month for one gig I'll never go back to uh, Cox Cable again gosh as a lot of coax that might be nine coax I'm trying to figure that out either eight or nine coax cables okay so we're going to hook up with this power strip and one thing as well with these small panels tape. they have one power outlet on the right side middle. so you could plug in two devices that's it available. so and i had to add a power, power um, so adapter so large, you, you know surge protector or whatever you want to call it sucks. for more power outlets oh well. So now yeah. we just plug back in the Cat5e yep. and uh, put them in, put them in nicely there and make sure they're clicking all the way. You'll see a green light. And one thing on here I noticed well. about this is I did not, if I remember correctly, I did not secure this to the panel. It's just hanging by the, the wires. So uh, I believe those five Ethernet or whatever it is, maybe seven Ethernet, are uh, holding that switch up, basically, which is a no-no. That's not, you're not supposed to do that. Nah, nah. It should have been secured to the panel with some zip ties or even some double-sided tape of some sort. But once again, I'm a noob trying to figure this out. Now we're done, we're just gonna push it up. There you go, push it up a little higher like that. But I should have secured it right there to the panel with some, maybe some double-sided tape of some sort. It shouldn't be hanging like that because you don't want that the pressure pulling on the RJ45 connectors. But that's what I did. That's pretty awful. <laughs> really bad. But it's looking better. I can go back. I definitely can go back and do some more. And plug the power in. There we go. And I'm gonna remove that. Like I said, more customs Cat6 line done. And that is our okay, let's do the test fit right Western there. Digital two terabyte cloud. As you can see that bracket is kind of a, a nice. No, that's the cloud right there. The other one was the Cox modem. I can hide the wires. Cable modem. So there we go. I mean, devices. Yeah, it still looks pretty terrible though. Power cord that's plugged those two devices in. It doesn't look very good. That's kind of half-assed. Gotta be honest. I'm just doing a little test fit. That's. And I'm gonna try to get these wires a little bit more. That's janky. That's not gonna, that doesn't right. look good. Go I don't remember, we'll did I switch that up or something? Huh. I had to switch this up. There's no way I left it looking that janky. Right there. That looks terrible. Go. Hmm. Okay, there's the bracket where I oh. The oh yeah, so I had the bracket at the bottom. That's what I did. Yep. To kind of hide those wires. And yep, set that on top. Looking better. Okay. That's better. This okay, yeah. Not bad. This is what it looks like now. And now there's a panel done. door that goes on All this. It screws on with four, four screws. Bracket, but I believe I did not attach that Just to the in. panel. And for a couple of reasons, because it gets hot. That panel one. will get extremely hot. Not, it's like hardly the end of ventilation. Perfect. So yeah, I just left it like that, I believe. Everything's organized and secure. Yeah, not bad. Router's on the shelf. And there's that old router there. Now that's a Wi-Fi 5 router, believe it or not. <laughs> Very old router. Before, doesn't it? <laughs> so now that I'm finished organizing the network box, there's a few challenges I have realized that I want to share with you. The first challenge is the lack of adequate power. There's only one power outlet, which is two devices to be plugged in. That's not enough. You're going to have to add a surge protector, a power strip, a power cord of some sort. Make sure it's small because that comes up to the second problem. The second problem with this box is it's small. It's very tiny. I, I struggled to get all the devices in there that I could. I couldn't get the router in there. Third problem I had here was lack of ventilation. I'm not There's sure no about that. There's no ventilation here at all whatsoever. Not sure about the holes that. you see in the back here are for brackets. It was kind of in back then, but... There was a cover that goes on here. I'm not going to put that on. Guy. There's no ventilation for the cover. I would risk overheating my devices, so I'm not going to do that. Despite all these challenges, I had a great time doing this. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, if you did, hit the like button for me. Hit subscribe, share this video, and leave comments down below, good or bad. I want to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. That's some funny stuff right there, guys. Well, thanks for watching my old video, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope I'm getting better now, hopefully. But uh, feel free to roast me. I can take it. 
Um, that's pretty bad. That was kind of funny, but also pretty bad editing and the music. Sorry about the music and all that. But um, anyways, guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.